Okay, before we can start the coding, we need to add two more uh, third-party libraries to our project. These ones we are going to add manually because there are no Cocoa Pods version for them. Uh, let's go to github.com and search for progress AUD. Select the first one. The progress AUD is going to be used for uh, displaying um, notifications to our user. Uh, click clone and download the zip. Close the folder. Let's go back and we are going to add one more library which is called rencryptor. rencryptor is an encryption library. Uh, this is going to be used to encrypt our chat. So click clone, download the zip as well. Let's close our Chrome, minimize it. Let's go to download folder and here we have two folders right now. The first one is called Progress AGD and the second one is called rencryptor. So let's go to Progress AGD first. Um, here there is another folder called Progress AGD. Let's open this one as well. And uh, the last folder called Progress AGD. Here we have two files and one library. I'm going to copy this folder, so command C, close this, go to your project folder and uh, command V to paste the code here, the folder here. Now let's open our project. From now on we are opening only from the Xcode workspace. Um, before we can begin uh, we need to create a bridging header file so we can link our third-party libraries which are written in Objective-C uh, Objective and uh, now we are using Swift 3. Uh, we are going to link the Objective-C code to our Swift code. So for this Apple has created a bridging header which is linking the two codes together. The easiest way to create a bridging header is uh, just select any of the files, go to File, New, file or just command n and select an objective c file click next give it an any name you want doesn't matter click next and it will ask where to save this and this is our project library click create and right here for you it will ask if you want to create a bridging header for the fo file as well click yes and uh, it will create a bridging header for you. I have already created it, so it doesn't ask me it doesn't ask me if I want to create it. So select your newly created uh, file, whatever name you gave it, and just click delete because we are not going to use this. We just need the bridging header, which is going to have your folder, your project name uh, slash bridging header dot age. Right, um, let's go to click on our uh, project header file here, the project name. Go to build settings and here if you search for bridging header, you will see an Objective-C bridging header and here as the value it will have your bridging header file name. So this shows that our bridging header is linked. Okay, uh, make sure you have selected the top folder directory click file, add files to the project and here we select our progress AUD folder in our project folder. Before you hit add, click on options, make sure you have selected copy items if needed and create groups. Click add. This will create a progress AUD folder and uh, as you can see it's yellow. If you haven't selected uh, copy items if needed this folder would be blue and it wouldn't be working. So make sure you have it selected and the folder is yellow. Then uh, we need to import our encryption files as well. For this I'm going to create another folder. So let's say file new group and I'm going to call this encryption. Uh, let's move this on side. Here I'm going to go to my downloads. 
our encrypted folder and from here I'm going to select two files the rencryptor.h and rencryptor.swift file just drag and drop it to the encryption folder again make sure you have copy items if needed and create groups select it click finish and this will copy two files to our folder all right uh, let's go to our uh, bridging header file and here we are going to import our files that are written in objective c um, i'm going to copy and paste the code and i will give you a few seconds to write it down just a second i open my notes all right i'm pasting the code here from my file and here we are importing the backendless.h the iq audio recorder this is record will be used for recording audio messages the jsq messages uh, view controller the progress ajd we just imported it idm photo browser which we got through pods to display our images Singe is for calling and R encryptor for our encryption. So right now I'm going to command B just to build my project and see if everything is working. We shouldn't get any errors or uh, crashes. That says build successfully. So let's just command R to run our project on an uh, iOS simulator just to make sure everything is running smoothly. Now my simulator is loading and here we have our white screen which uh, represents that there is nothing in our folder, in our application.